begin day three of the 2023 Cambria College Classic. We saw that in the game yesterday where players struck out when they had two strikes because they weren't ready. Yeah, that was in the Minnesota game. So the pitcher pays visits over to oh. first, and now it gets by the first baseman, and that will be a throwing error to oh, allow the runner to go to second. Now look out, Ben Ziegler, <laughs> Namoa will go all the way around to third. By the pitcher, Nate Haberthier. This is on the ground to short. It will do the job as the throw goes low into first base. So another miscue defensively by Maryland. Um, so you know. On the ground to short. The second for one, the relay to first is in time. So they get a 6-4-3 double play here in the bottom of the first. That is rocketed to right. That will split the gap out there in right. Jared Quant to a slide, trying to get the ball into the infield. It will be a double with one out off the bat of Matt Shaw, the shortstop. Maryland hit two home runs yesterday. As this is hit hard to left, the left fielder Matthew Miura will have to play it off the fence. We are tied at one after an RBI double to left field off the bat of Nick LaRusso. So Connor, it's now a 10 game hitting streak. So the mound is turf, the home plate area is turf. Petrutz nearly hit by that pitch. The pitch right back up the middle, could be two on the ground. It goes to second for one, the relay to first is in time. 6-4-3, double play. And then they were walked off in a thrilling game yesterday as we see a walk with a runner at first base. He'll take off. Good jump, Duarte with a gun down to second, and that's in there. Ooh. Now, Maryland, the pitch outside. He walked him. Take there by Luke Schligger. Wow. With the runners on the move, the payoff pitch is taken high this season. Bases loaded, Shaw at the plate, Ooh. and he strikes out. And how about the freshman? Harrison Bodendorf buckles down, and he records the strikeout. Jared Quant, the batter, on 0-1. He will sneak one through the right side for a base hit, so Quant aboard. The 0-2 is lifted in the air, playable to shallow right. The second baseman with his back turned to the infield, unable to make the catch, and they're going to get an out. Open this thing up and get a fly back on top. Hit hard and through the left side of the infield. So runners now on first and second. Matt Wong with a single. The pitch. Hit hard to right, that will touch down in right field in front of Matt Woods. They're gonna send the runner all the way around and we now have Hawaii taking the lead here this morning. The pitch, runner takes off from first, hit right back up the middle. Stopped at second base by Keister. His throw pulls the first baseman, Eddie Hakopian off the bag, a run scores and it's 3-1 Hawaii. The pitch home. Chopped on the ground, right side, Keister attacks it, and he'll throw on to first for the final out. He replaces Harrison Bodendorf as this is ripped to left on one hop into the corner off the bat of Bobby Zmarslak. He will slide into second base with a hard hit double to left. That's very interesting. Hit hard to center, Matt Wong with a good jump, and he'll make the catch coming in. The count is 1-0. As Ooh. this is whack to left, back goes the left fielder, Bobby Zmarslak. He'll have to play it off the fence. And it'll be a leadoff sliding double off the bat of Matthew Miura. And now they'll throw behind the runner at second base, and it gets by the shortstop. And now Hawaii will have a runner 90 feet away. The 2-2 hit into left. Shielding his eyes, Bobby Zmarslak will make the catch. The runner tags from third. The throw to the plate is not in time. And Hawaii now leads 4-1. to one. Maryland trailing by three. The pitch is outside for ball four. Players are not. So being there, that's where usually those hits go. This is dumped into left for a base hit. Fought off by Ian Petruntz. So he is aboard once again. Ziegler-Namoa delivers the bunt 
back to Ziggler Namoa. Only play to first. Job done by Eddie Hakopian. Runner so well placed, well executed by Maryland. Wood slams this to right. The catch is made. A runner will tag from third and score. The runner oh no. from second will go to third, and that ball nearly got away. <laughs> Kept in play behind third. A run does score. Minnesota and Vanderbilt. A walk issued. Two out. The pitch inside for a ball, and they're loaded up once again. Dalton Rennie delivers. Got him, and that will bring in a run. Come through as Schliger hits this into the shift right side, and the out is made at first. The 1-2 is smacked to center. That's well hit, Dang. and that will go over the head of the center fielder, Elijah Lambros, and that's going to be a one-out double off the bat of Matt Wong. Runner at second base, the pitch is hit again hard to Jeez. center field. Elijah Lambros back, he won't get that. That goes off the wall, the runner from second. Matt Wong will come around to score. They trade places. Hawaii with another run on the board as they extend the lead here in the top of the sixth. He was late on it and it aligned right off the bat over to Coach Anderson. He, he was wow. okay, but I mean, it was hit hard and the Third out is recorded as David Falco Jr. comes in and gets two out. Base is empty. The pitch is down and away. He walked him. Matters most in relief. Matt Wong, the batter. Little dribbler oh, left side. They're going to try to get the lead runner, and they do at third. Third, get the out in time. I like instead of throwing to first there. Hit hard to right. That's down for a base hit. First and second now for the Rainbow Warriors. And... You know, I feel like one of those got away from him, too. Runners take off. The pitch is taken for a ball, and they're loaded up. Donahue popped out his last time. And he was hit by a pitch, and that oh will bring another gosh. run in for Hawaii. So we've seen that before here today. Just dances off of the bag as this is ripped to center, falling fast, and Elijah oh. Lambros lays out to make the catch. Shift applied for oh, the ow. Rainbow Warriors, and he gets hit by the breaking ball. It's the second baseman more so behind second base, and the shift can't stop uh, Matt Shaw as he bounces it through for a base hit. So they now are on first and second. Nice piece of hitting. And he hits this on the ground left side. Here's the double play ball. Yes. So 6-4-3 on the double play. So Hawaii gets that double play ball. And a hitter's count, the pitch. He walked him on four pitches. The 1-2 is served in the air to deep left center field. Back at the wall. See you later. It's a two-run home run for Jacob Igawa. And Hawaii gets more here in the top of the ninth. Get out, ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy who led the team last year in home runs. And we talk about that in his last at bat. He hadn't done he hadn't done that in the last game or this game. Didn't have a hit. Um, one strike on the season, giving up six runs. This is smacked to deep center field. Back goes Elijah Lambros. He oh will watch gosh. it fly. Back to back home runs. <laughs> for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, a no-doubter to center field off the bat of Kyson Donahue. For Donahue, he hit a home run yesterday, and that was way out of here, out there in center, and it's now 9-3 Hawaii. Two more today, and the pitch is taken for a ball. It is 9-3 Hawaii. This is... Hit to center field, that will find its way to Elijah Lambros. So, good piece of hitting. Leading nine to three, back-to-back -back home runs in the top of the ninth. The short, Shaw completes the play on the first. Decide to throw here, two and two. The pitch is hit in the air to right. Quant over, and he'll make the catch in Hawaii picks up the victory against Maryland.